Gosh, Fabiola, you can do it. May the sacred assistance that Mary had in Bethlehem help us at this moment. May the hands of the saints and the angels come and help us deliver this baby healthy and fine. May it always be strong and beautiful, and may the protective blood of Christ be with her always. And may his presence be felt by the mother during this crucial moment. Bosh, Fabiola, breathe. Oh, that's it. Breathe. May he always protect her and guide her. Come on, Fabiola, just a little more. Come on, just a little more. May this woman and her child be protected from any sort of harm. By the blood of Christ, Holy Mother Mary and Saint Joseph. May the sacred measure and the Holy Virgin be with us. Calm down, Jesus Antonio. Your wife has given birth before, and she has experienced this. Your child was safely delivered. Fabiola wants to see you. Go oh, on, she wants to see you. Look, it's another girl. She looks just like you, but she didn't cry. Do you think she was sent to us mute? Fabiola. Has it crossed your mind that she's just waiting for you to hold her? No. When she receives the holy water and becomes a legitimate daughter of God, then I will hold her. Until then, I will not. My thanks, Isabella and Pedro. Anytime, boss. We came for your blessing. All right, so what's your daughter's name? Father Miguel, the truth is Fabiola and I have not agreed on it. For heaven's sake, Jesus Antonio and Fabiola. You understand the importance of a name for this child. She's going to carry it all her life. You should have thought of it before heading here. But if you decide, Father, that wouldn't be a problem, right? Yes, yes, Father. We'll let you decide. Then let us do something. Let the Lord decide. Our Creator can choose the child's name. Are you two all right with that? Yes, it would be better if God chose the name. Laura? Laura, Laura which means immortality. Immortality? Laura. My goodness, it seems like a lot of weight for a small girl to carry. I like the name, my love. Laura Montoya Upegi. Yes, Father, Laura it is. I baptize you, Laura Montoya Upegi, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. How weird. She didn't cry. Not even slight. Thank you for coming, Dario. 
Do you want something to drink? No, Fabiola. I have another patient after this. Are you sure there's nothing wrong with the girl? Fabiola, your daughter is perfectly fine. Dario, do you think she has a clogged tear duct? Fabiola, like I said, Laura's perfectly well. Look, your husband is a better doctor than I am, and he has already told you a million times, so you should believe him. Instead, you focus on taking care of your next child. Still, I need to know why Laura hasn't cried yet. Well, maybe she has no reason, so you do not have to worry about that. Look, I don't want to sound heartless, but we have enough problems in the country for you to start worrying about a girl who doesn't want to cry. Do you think Laura's saving her tears for when tragedy strikes? What tragedy are you speaking of? Remember, whoever thinks negatively calls on it. Wait. Dario, do you think that President Para is going to start persecuting priests? <laughs> priests, nuns, and friends of the church, that's what they say. Oh my goodness. They say that there will be a civil war between radicals and conservatives, so you better tell your husband. I will. Tell him to watch out and not start a riot, because things are getting dangerous. If he does, remind him that his family needs it. I'll tell him. Well, tell him then. And take care of the girl. She's very pretty. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Say hello to your wife. With pleasure, Fabiola. Goodbye. Goodbye. Clarissa, stop bothering your sister just because she doesn't cry. Look, my love, I'm very concerned for my parents. I haven't heard from them for months. I'm very worried something's happened to them in Medellin. Let's go on a trip and see how they do. What's happening now? What is it, Manuel? Why are you being so scandalous? The radicals have taken over the church. What? The radicals took over the church? Yes, and they're burning it with a priest still I inside. Allow that. Fabiola, bring me my machete. And where are you going with a machete? Fabiola, my machete. I'll take it to you. But remember that you have a family, that you have children. Think about that. Fabiola, keep the door closed. Give me your blessing. May the heavens watch over you. Let's go, Manuel! Manuel, you go over there while I search for the priest. Hurry! Hurry! This is not the time for you to cry. Don't scare me.
blessed mother, I pray that... They killed Jesus and Tonya. I knew you were saving your tears for when tragedy strikes, but please. Fabiola, have you thought about what you're going to do now that you are by yourself? They will kick you out of the house in two days. God will help me. God will help. Fabiola, please, who's going to take you in with all those children and your youngest child? Something's wrong with her, right? She's not retarded. <laughs> Fabiola, that little girl is not normal. You and I have known that since the beginning. She has been strange. Who's going to take you in with her? Have you thought about, I don't know, leaving her I will not be separated from my children. As hard as it may be, only God knows why he put so much sorrow in our lives. If three years ago someone had told me that I was going to be a widow with three children, I would not have married Jesus Antonio. Imagine my situation, alone in this world in the middle of a war. Risking it all, I venture to find you and Father, as you are the only ones who can help us. Some people tell me you left running, escaping from radicals. Others tell me that because of Father's deteriorating health, he left Medellin. Sit down here and rest. There have been difficult months, Mother. Have some water. Come on, Laura, have some. All right. Clarissa, come here. Hold your little sister for me. I hope, and God willing, that this letter reaches your hand. That's good, Clarissa, that's good. Yes, keep moving, come on. Mama! me. There, it's open. <sighs> oh my gosh, what happened? Come girls, help me. This is my daughter-in-law. She fell and she's pregnant. Help me quick. What happened? Why do you come here by yourself? Oh no, my dear, what happened?
the side of the road, right, Mother? Careful, young lady. That is not true. Look at yourself in the mirror and you will see that you're the only one with fair skin in the family. Stop that nonsense, Clarissa Montoya. Fabiola, dear. Leandro wants to speak to you. Yes, ma'am, I'm coming. While I'm gone, I want you to behave. I'm going to see Uncle Leandro now. Yes, Mother. We found you on the side of the road. Fabiola, I don't want you to think that we want to kick you out of the house. But my mother is very old and she doesn't have a lot of time. Also, you have three children and Azuzena cannot take care of them anymore. You don't have to give me any explanation, Leandro. I'm very grateful to my mother-in-law because she took us in all these years, which was a lot for me and my children. Fabiola, you are the widow of my mother's favorite son. She was not going to abandon you, you know that. Neither are her grandchildren. But now it's time to sell the house and to take my mother to live with me at Amalfi. I understand. They say that not being a burden is very helpful, so we'll start packing this afternoon. That is something else I want to discuss with you, Fabiola. I am very sorry for not being able to take you with us. You know, my wife cannot... Uh, she cannot see anyone because she feels sad that she cannot have Don't children. you worry. You've done a lot for us. I completely understand. Let me finish, Fabiola. There is actually something I can do for you. <clears throat> I could take care of one of your daughters if you want. Whichever you choose. I have to talk to you. <laughs> Uncle Leandro's here because he's going to take Grandmother Morelia with him. You see, she's in bad health, which means we also have to leave. Where will we go, Mother? Laura, Antonio and I are going to look for my parents. And you, my dear, will be living in a beautiful house with Uncle Leandro and his wife. No, Mother, I don't want to go with him. It's for the best, Clarissa. It's a pretty house. You'll do well there. I can't offer you a good life. But you're strong. You're ready. You're the eldest. No, no Mother, I don't want to be apart from you. That's what I would like to, Clarissa. But sometimes we need to sacrifice in life to strengthen us. Mother, please don't leave me. Calm down, Clarissa. Me. I don't want to leave. Clarissa, please leave. stop it. Let her leave, Mother. Let her leave. Laura's leaving with you, Leandro. Fabiola, I promise you that she will be welcomed wholeheartedly in my house. <laughs> do not make that expression, Laura. Yet in my house, you're going to be treated as if you were my daughter, by both me and my wife. Ready? One, two, three, oh, oh, there you go. Yes, that's good. Now don't fall from the saddle. All right, very good. Sit down. Now I want you to put your hand over here. That way. Now hold on, and wait there. Stay calm. If you fall, I will catch you. There, don't worry. Relax, relax. There we go. All right, now we'll take it slowly. Slowly, slowly. Relax, relax. Oh, that was splendid. It has been a while since I saw your father so happy. 
I must say, bringing Clarissa and Antonio here was a great blessing. Yes, for all except for love. <sighs> you did what you had to do. It was that or all of you starving to death. No, I still think that sacrificing your child by giving them away is condemning the them, mother. The sacrifice is a blessing. When Laura finally has children of her own, she will understand that a mother always puts her children's oh, for interests sake, ahead mother, of hers. Laura should be here, with Clarissa, receiving her grandparents' Oh, love. do not be stressed. Leandro has more money, more luxuries. The girl has been there for a year and there have been no complaints. She must be happy, and Leandro and her wife much more with her. Stop being so angry, will you? Come with me and help me in the kitchen. Yes, ma'am, I'm coming. Relax. There we go. That's good. Relax, just relax. Let's go. Excellent. Laura? Laura? It has been several months, but that little girl still does not sleep on her bed, but on the floor. It appears she is more comfortable sleeping with the animals. And according to the help, she wakes up at sunset every time and does not go back to sleep. The help also informed me that the little girl frequently talks to herself. I'm sorry to be blunt, but your niece is a weird child. If by 8 the girl remains to be this odd, then I do not want to wait until she turns 15. You have to talk to her, Leandro. It is time to put her in your place. Tell my father that I miss him very much. And tell him that my mother gave me away because she does not love me. That she only loves my older sister, Clarissa. Oh, I think you better not say anything so he won't get worried. Let him rest. Do you want me to sing you a song I came up with this morning? The morning sun that rises covers my great sadness. And the flowers that wake early They speak of your love to me Your love that comes to me Deep, deep inside of my heart Very, very deep Deep inside my chest And if no one in this world Has ever loved me I don't even care if I have you. Come here. <laughs> After I return you to your bed, you would go to sleep. But Uncle, I'm having a hard time falling asleep. What? Do you think I care? Listen to me. You waking up at three in the morning as if you were a lost soul is over. And for that matter, you're going to the kitchen and staying with the help. Have you gone mad or what? Why do you do that? Of, it's part of my penance, Uncle. Penance, huh? Well, let me tell you something. The only one in this house that is a penance is you. And I'm going to give you one if you do not behave yourself. Do you understand? If I see you sleeping on the floor again, you're out of here. But Uncle, please. Listen carefully to what I'm telling you. Your life will never be yours. It's going to be the orders that other people are giving you and nothing else. Understand? Now go to sleep! I am going to stay here by your side until you fall asleep, do you hear me? Because you are going to learn to obey the easy way or the hard way, Lara.
Five days here in a cave? How's that possible? Sometimes a cave, sometimes in the middle of a field. She took advantage of the fact you left the house to leave. Also, she does not eat or sleep. She is like a tree. That girl is so stubborn. Why did you not bring her by force? I tried, but... But what? I'm scared. Of Laura? Leandro, I'm scared of her. She is not from this world. Do not look at me like that. Even the servants are not able to get close to her. That child is going to have to learn to behave like a human whether she likes it or not. Laura, get up right now. Laura! Leandro, is she alive? Is she dead? Her eyes are open, but she's not breathing. And she doesn't have a pulse. So she's not dead? If she's not dead, then maybe she's sick. Call Maria Luisa quickly and get a doctor. This. It will help. Thank you, Consuelo. Excuse me. What happened to her? The doctor told me she's having some seizures at the moment. Fabiola, she's been like more than 15 days. She has not eaten, not even one bite. She just drinks water and remains like, like you see her. Like that with her eyes? Yes, and looking at who knows what. Fabiola, I think that this girl has a problem mentally. Forgive me, but I'm going to have to give her back. I cannot take care of the girl under these conditions. Really? Well, neither can we. Take the girl and leave. Forgive me, really. And prepare yourself. Because the life you have out of you with her is not easy. I tried, Fabiola. I swear I tried. My God, Abel, what do you mean you're not going to take her in? Consuelo, no one else is physically fit in this farm. There is no money and no one to work the farm. Besides, if she's sick like Leandro says, how will we pay for the treatment? It is precisely because of that. It's the main reason why we have to take her in. People say she's very strange. Since she was born, she did not cry for two years. Two years. Stop talking nonsense, Abel. Your daughter might hear you. It's all right, Mother. As soon as the girl improves, I'll leave. With all my children. Will she get better? The doctor said we have to wait. Why does she not talk? It is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother Jesus. of God, pray for us Holy sinners Mary, now and at the God, hour of our death. Amen. Now and Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy to Spirit, the Father, as it was in the beginning. Mother, I'm hungry. Laura, oh my, my goodness. God. Laura! Are you all right? Does something hurt? No, Mother. I just feel hungry. I'm going to get you something to drink. Get me some cane water. Hey, Fabiola. That girl is a little tan. She doesn't look like Clarissa at all. Are you sure they did not exchange her? I'm sure, and don't worry. We're leaving here tomorrow. All of us. Well, you can stay here with the condition that that girl does not come close to me. Am I clear? Mother, where are my siblings? They're asleep. They were waiting for you, but they got sleepy. You'll see them tomorrow. All right, Mother. Oh, Mother, do you know what? God told me that one of them was going to have a long life. God? When did you talk to God? I Here. always talked to him. Thank you. What did he tell you? He always sends me messages. Messages? All right, drink that. Abel, listen That is to ridiculous. Me. A little girl who talks to God has to be wrong in the head. That girl's insane. 
he's just child I stuff. tell you, the child is possessed by the devil. She's a demon. My God, how can you say that? You can tell it in her eyes. Her soul is as black as her eyes. Have you noticed? Look, I'm not sitting down at the table with that young girl ever, and I mean it. See you later. <sighs> Lorenza! Let's go. Watch over the beans. I'm going to eat with you. Grandfather has a headache and he doesn't want people bothering him. Have some. Fabiola, come here. I need you to help me write a letter. Keep eating. I'll be right back. It is a lie. My grandfather does not like you. He says that you do not look like anyone in this family. And it's best that you stay by yourself. Goodness gracious, Clarissa, leave your sister alone. No, Grandma, I'm not alone. That Blanca lady said she was going to eat with me. Who is Bianca? Wait! There, don't you see her? Calm down. A little girl who sees things has to be in partnership with the devil. Do you not understand? She has no way of knowing there used to be a Blanca here who helped me with the cows and died two years ago. How can she know that? She must Father, have heard Stop defending her. If you want to go with that witch, it's up to you. But I do not want her here. Do you understand? I do not want a witch in my house. You sad? You shouldn't be. She's with God now. Yes, it's a shame she left and not him. Do you imagine how difficult it is going to be now? If they don't love me, it's because it's God's will. Hey, Laura, how can you say that? Me, Clarissa, and Mother all love you. She gave you. me away. If they hadn't sent me back, I'd be gone. She said she didn't she have did, a choice. She did, and she chose me. And if your own mother doesn't love you, then tell me who in this world will. Go accompany Grandfather. Uncle. I am so sorry for your loss, Fabiola. Also, you know that your mother and I did not speak for many years. I am deeply saddened by her passing. This is very difficult, Uncle. 
My mother's gone and my father's sick. He looks very old. And you know how difficult things are for a woman who's alone in the world. <laughs> Even though I work so hard in the farm, it's still not enough to support everyone. It is tough, Fabiola. But if you allow me, I can help you. Well, of course, I cannot take you in at my house because my wife Maruha does not want to see Abel's children. However, if you need money, I can help you. You can't do anything for me, uncle. But you could for one of my daughters. Want me to go instead? Well, of course. But what am I going to do in Medellin? I have to be a teacher and I don't want to. Well, me either. I want to stay here with my mother. If I leave, I will have a heart attack and die. You want me to leave? Not again. <sighs> and I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. And he was born of the Virgin Mary, most holy. And under Pontius Pilate, he was then crucified, he died, and he was buried. And he descended to the deepest of infernos, and then on the third day he rose again and went up to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Oh God, oh God Almighty, please tell me whether I should leave or not. Give me a sign, please. <sighs> Mother, do you plan to send Clarissa to Medellin? Yes, I do. The only job for us women is to work as teachers. As you know, the income from the farm isn't enough. Then send me. Oh, Laura. Clarissa's the eldest, and you would like being a teacher. You told me. And in this house, when has it mattered if I liked something or not? You say that because you think I don't love you and I don't care about what you feel or think, right? No, it's just that I can't change how people feel. I mean, who am I to judge them? I should have never sent you to Leandros. That's all in the past, Mother. Look, God sent me a sign. Send me. I'm more prepared than Clarissa. You were... You were the one who taught me to be a pilgrim, and I learned I can't get close to anything or anyone. What are you made of, Laura? Dear Eudofia Maria, with license from our almighty creator, I'm sending you Laura. She's not my eldest, but the one next to her. She'll be helping you at the orphanage, Christine. I have no way to thank you for receiving her. She's very well educated and obedient. She'll do whatever you tell her to do. You don't have to worry about money. 
Misael will send them to her when he gets back home from his trip. You know he's a nomad, so I'll send you a first part of it with Laura in the meantime. May God help you always for the kindness you showed. With affection, Fabiola. Welcome to your new home. Now give me your baggage. The rules in this house are clear. We live like orphans do. No one is better or worse than the other. So if you need clothes, this is the uniform that we use. Is it not lovely? All right, come with me. This way. That over there at the bottom is your bed. You have to keep it made and clean. By the side, you can keep your things. And we wake up at exactly four in the morning. It's midnight now, so you should get your sleep. 